Well, that's what the front of it looks like. That's right where the the mailbox hit. Then you get a little dent up there, which is very minimal. And somehow all the wires are still intact. They have a new light on the way. And it also ripped the plastic guard off the front, but that's all right. If anyone at Ford has seen this video, tell thanks for making a good truck. This one was actually built in St. Paul. It was built just right down the road here. Not very far, but I know they're coming back with the Rangers, so hopefully they're, uh, they're just as good as the old ones were. This truck just won't die. Yeah, so there's damage to the truck. Um, there hasn't been a video in like about a week, and I'm gonna explain why and what happened. Um, so be sure to stay tuned for this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you do anything and hit the notification button. Also give this video a thumbs up, and we'll get right into it. So it's 4th of July right now. So this happened on, it was the day before Father's Day, so it was the, it was the 17th that this happened. We, uh, so Friday, I uh, went to bed at 11 o'clock at night, and we were going to Mille Lacs in the morning. At, um, woke up at three in the morning, drove all the way up there, pulled the boat, fished all day long, and then on the way back, that's when it happened. I, we were going down Highway 23 to, towards Hinkley, and I fell asleep behind the wheel. Hunter was asleep right next to me, and I crossed lanes, and a car swerved. And I didn't know any of this happened. We were probably driving for a couple miles completely asleep. And the, again, the cruise control was on. Um, and what woke me up is I hit someone's driveway. So this is his driveway right here. And on my left thumb, that's where his mailbox is. We hit the mailbox and that's what woke me up. And that's why that light's gone on the left. So we went into the ditch, pulling the boat. And I'll post a picture of what the full thing looked like when it was in the water. But water was all the way up to, it was all the way up to the bottom of the doors. And I was completely out of it because your adrenaline goes crazy once you get in an accident like that. I climbed out of the window and it was steaming because water hit the exhaust and or the headers and stuff like that and then i got out climbed on the roof here and the person that swerved stopped just to make sure we we're okay which i'm thankful for that but i was so out of it when they told me that they swerved i was like what and i, I didn't really know what to say and then they called we didn't need an ambulance because no one got hurt thankfully i'm glad that no one got hurt and that we didn't get hurt because I, there's so many ways that it could have went where um, it could have been a lot worse. Like if we went to hit his mailbox, we went to woke up and our vehicle jumped off the road. This, the Ranger didn't even touch the ground and the boat just followed it down. But if we would have went off the road five feet earlier, we probably wouldn't have made it. We probably would have died because I've seen videos of people falling asleep and going off the road or just going off the road in general and hitting in inclines. The vehicle completely flips up and this didn't have airbags because I got in an accident about two months ago. Um, and both the airbags went off, but we walked away untouched and we got really, really lucky. Just thankful to be here to be able to tell the, the, the story. A tow truck came, actually two tow trucks came. About a 15,000 pound tow truck tried to pull the Ranger out. And as you can see, that's the frame right there. It tried to pull it out and that didn't work. It folded that part of the frame out and it lifted the front right tire off the, of the tr um, 15,000 pound tow truck off the ground. That's how much weight was there because you're in a swamp. It looks like a mud truck under here. Um, I'll show a front view picture. I don't know if it can really show a lot of all the grass that was under here, but it, it smelled like a corn stalk when we started um, when we started it back up. And that bill ran me around $732, which was expensive, but we had to drive it from Hinkley all the way to Rush City, and that was where my uncle's house was, and we live in St. Paul. And another one of my uncles, is a tow truck driver and he drove it all the way to St. Paul, which I'm glad he did that because it would it's it's expensive. It's about four bucks a mile for uh, tow truck drivers just because they see as it it's a convenience for them to even to be towing you. What I wanna say is just I'm 17 years old. It's not like I know the world, I know that. But just what I want people to know is just be careful when you're going on day trips like that. It was a one day trip which I will never do again just because it's not worth it. You get up at three, four in the morning, you drive all the way up there, then you have to come back, you're dead beat tired. And I thought, you always think you can make it, but it's just not worth it. I thought I could make it to Hinkley to get an energy drink, that's what I was gonna do. We were five miles away from Hinkley when it happened. Always always keep your passenger awake with you. Whether, just talk to each other, because that, it keeps you, it keeps you awake better if you're in a situation like that, and have the windows down. We had the windows down too. It obviously still didn't work. 
if you can see at a certain angle here, it's dented right here because where they tried to pull it, they had to pull it out from the back. And our hitch is all um, folded out. But the tow truck driver decided to, he was telling me to um, just not worry about it, have insurance deal with it. And he tried to pull my boat and the truck out, which together in dry land, on dry land, is about 6,000 pounds. And the hitch here, is only rated at 2,000 pounds. And I told him, why are you doing that? You're gonna rip the hitch right off, which it didn't, because the Rangers are such a good truck. Well, I, I, I think we're, if, they st if Ford still made Rangers, the safety ratings would be going through the roof. But they're, they're really good trucks. I will buy nothing but a Ford. But besides the point, um, he then tried to pull the full rig out by my boat trailer, which is a Shoreliner trailer to buy a new one, a 2004 new one, or just a 2004 trailer, Shoreline. It was about 1,500 bucks. And he hooked it to the axle of the boat trailer. It jacked up the leaf spring and it bent the axle of my trailer. So it cost me another 400 bucks to buy a new boat trailer, but it came with a boat, so I will sell the boat and make my money back on that. But the trailer, the Shorelander one, should still be fixable. But it's just the logic isn't there. Why would you try to pull out a 6,000, a boat and trailer by the trailer? But, well, I'm glad everyone was okay and no one got hurt. But I really encourage you to share this video and like it just so more people see it. And it kind of puts that picture in their mind to make sure you're well rested before you go on a fishing trip. I know countless people that go on trips like that one day trip, but just make sure you're well rested when you go on these trips and plan it out a lot better, have switch off, have driving shifts and stuff like that. So when we got home, well, when we got it out of the swamp because we hit marsh, um, they, they said it wouldn't start and they left. I started the thing right up. There just wasn't any brake pressure so when we took it home and got all the grass out of it, the back left uh, um, brake line was cracked. Replaced that and that's the only thing we've had to do to it. We're going to get an alignment done too because they needed one for a little while but I, ex I didn't even, I, di I expected there to be a lot worse. I, kn I knew the thing would run because it ran after we completely stopped but there's always that one slight thing that could have went wrong like if we would have hit someone we would have been killed because there's no airbags if we would have went off the road in any other spot on that road we would have hit trees or we would have hit hills and that would have been bad I mean, if we wouldn't hit a mailbox we wouldn't have woke up there's always that one thing that could have been different that could have changed the whole outcome of it but you're just I'm just thankful for how it happened how the outcome was and that everything was okay, even though I shouldn't have fell asleep behind the wheel, and I realized that. But we're still driving the Ranger right now. The old Lone Ranger is at 181,000 miles, and it's still going strong. We just need to get the hitch fixed so we can continue pulling the boat. And somehow the boat's just fine. There's no, we haven't added on the water yet to see if there's any leaks, but I, I, from what I can see, there isn't any holes in it. And the motor's just fine. I also, I also need to uh, adjust that, um, the hook in the front. But other than that, both machines are working just fine. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe, hit the notification button, and don't forget to share this video. I hope to have a lot more videos in the future. I've just been working a lot because it cost me about 1100 bucks this full accident did because we didn't go through insurance. I'm going up to Canada July 15th to the 21st, so there'll be videos, a lot of can uh, Canadian videos, and also I might be going to Mille Lacs this week, so watch out for that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to get a lot of sleep before you go on a fishing trip.